You gon' need them, cause after I'm done, you might Oh shit. Fatima, stop. Just wait, okay? Please, please. You done fed up for the last time. Please, just wait, okay? I didn't do nothing to him, I swear. Fatima! Fatima! For real, stop. Get some Fatima, stop. Oh, what the what the fuck are you doing here? What the hell? All right, sisters fans. Now, I feel like um, I wasn't the one to coin the phrase, but I am going to use it here. And I saw this in the comment section on the live stream I did about the midseason finale, as well as the comment section on my review for the midseason finale. And we were Fatima clickbaited. It's essentially like, um, you know, Tyler Perry Studios and or Viacom. They released a number of photos, which... I'm probably going to like make a collage and put them on screen now, you know, from Fatima on the phone, uh, Fatima with the bat in Gary's face, Fatima, um, you know, uh, what was it? I think Gary and Hayden were standing together there. And then of course, you know, the one that really got people talking when Fatima was being embraced by Zach and look. The views for my videos, what was it? The one about, you know, I think I did uh, the video about Zach holding Fatima. What has Fatima upset? That's almost at 17,000. Uh, then the video I did about, um, you know, the sneak peek photo of Fatima busting in on Zach and Hayden, 35,000. And then from there, a photo of Fatima with the bat in Gary's face about, okay, is she going to tell Andy about this? That's like 5,000 views. Then about 3,500 for, you know, will Hayden press charges. Collectively, that's what? Okay, five, nine, nine plus 35 equals 44. 44 plus 17 equals... 61 yeah so over 60,000 views on videos i did from those photos because remember i was like in my uh episode 10 review and then the trailer breakdown for the mid-season i'm like you know what guys episode 10 was so bad i think it laid a faulty foundation i'm not expecting much of anything from the mid-season finale but then what was it Monday or Sunday? Basically a couple days prior to the mid-season finale airing, they just did a dump of photos. I'm like, oh, Zach and Fatima are embracing. Or, okay, Fatima got the bat on Gary. That that was the photo for me. When Fatima had the bat and she rolled up and Gary was in Hayden's house, I'm like, oh my gosh. It's about to get real. I'm like, you know what? I know most of the episode might be crap, but the Fatima discovering the Hayden Gary Alliance that's going to be the thing that has me going hey yeah, oh yeah, yeah this was worth the watch but then we get to the actual episode and not only was it awful but Fatima didn't show up until like the last what couple minutes when she you know uh beat up the car with the bat and I remember doing the tv line article about it. I'm like okay this is some good stuff and you know learning about the behind the scenes stuff and how it's not as easy as it looks and I'm like okay that makes me appreciate the scene so when it happens I know it's about to go down but the thing about it is when he got to the actual episode it was like what 9 50 or something like that and we wasted five plus minutes of Maurice inviting Q back into his apartment and then he, him getting undressed and then going to the bathroom, walking around naked saying, oh, I can't find the wash rags and whatever. I'm like, we ain't got time for this shit. We trying to see Fatima F up this car and then encounter Hayden and uh, Gary and then go back to Zach's house. I'm like, we ain't getting none of that. So I feel like it was false advertising. I even made the joke of, um, the first Suicide Squad movie, not the recent one, but I remember when the promos for that movie came out and like Jared Leto's, uh, Leto's Joker was all over the place. And then when you watch the actual movie, he was barely in it. And I remember that one fan who tried to sue like Warner Brothers or something like for a million dollars because of the false advertising. Like, Look, I paid money to see this movie when it first came out to see the Joker and he was barely in the damn thing. And because a lot of the scenes in the promos didn't make the final cut. And that's what I feel like it was for this particular episode. I think that because um, episodes 9 and 10 took a slight dip in ratings, they probably figured, oh, as a safety net in order to increase ratings for the actual mid-season finale, let's put out a bunch of Fatima stuff because that'll get fans going. And yeah, it, sh it certainly did. 
I got the video views to uh, prove it, but like I said, most importantly, it gave me hope. I'm like, you know what? Damn it. I, I want to watch it. Let's see what happens. But none of the scenes made the cut aside from Fatima um, running after Hayden. And it stops right when she sees Gary in the house. And I'm like, that, as soon as they, uh, as soon as the end credits start, I'm like, that was it. That was it. So yeah, I was pissed off, but yeah, as a fan, I feel disappointed. This was just some kind of promotional stunt. And not only that, the fact that we got to wait until June 29th for a follow-up, it's like, damn, that's messed up. So I know it's probably not happening anytime soon, but I would love to get like a season uh, 4B trailer just for the sake of, you know, giving us something to wet our beaks until the show comes back. Like I said, I don't think Zatima, the series, is going to happen until after season four is over. But maybe next Wednesday, they'll give fans something just to tell them, hey, there is no episode this week, but just know the show is coming back June 29th. But let me know if you feel the same way. Do you think this was just a stunt to increase ratings? And do you feel a bit betrayed and, well, pissed off due to the fact that they just delivered false promises so we'll just see what the ratings look like when the show comes back on the air but i don't know about you but i definitely feel like we got some fatima clickbait here um in regards to watching sisters so uh let me know your thoughts in the comment section below hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video follow me on social media links are in the description below hit subscribe and hit the bell icon to select all that way you don't miss out whenever i post content on the channel